Ali here and in today's video we're taking a look at the Vostok Instruments and DivKid Ben Collaboration Module Trace. Trace is a four input, one output interpolating scanner and the plan is to give a, an overview of how the module works and then dive into some patches. If that sounds good, please stick around. Also, please subscribe if you've not already. And finally, if you do enjoy my videos and you would like to help support my work, then I have a Patreon where I upload extra videos as well as sample packs and preset packs. They're also available on my online store. I have a cassette for sale that you can pick up on my Bandcamp. And finally, there are some affiliate links down below as well. So yeah, let's dive into this video. Okay, so here is Trace, and I'm going to do a brief overview, though I do recommend checking out uh, DevKid's video as he goes into a lot more detail. But essentially we have four inputs and one output, and the easiest way to demonstrate this module is with an oscillator that has multiple outputs. So I've got the waveform generator here from Sputnik Modular, and I'm going to patch the sub-oscillator into input one. And I've got a square wave with some pulse width modulation going into input 2. And we can then use the fader to move between our two different inputs. And we can actually blend between them as well. <laughs> which is really nice. I'm going to patch a sine wave into input 3. And I do have some wave folding going in on this one. Let's blend it between 2 and 3 now. And I've got a sawtooth with some modulation going into input 4. And what makes this module really fun is the fact that this is modulatable, so I have Channel 1 of Maths, just cycling, I'm going to patch that into the scan input. Bring up the CV amount. And this can take a really basic sequence and turn it into something a lot richer with more dynamics. take a very simple sequence and uh, turn it into something interesting. Uh, we can also affect how much modulation is going on so we can be more subtle with it. And actually we can also modulate in reverse or <laughs> negatively. And this is a very simple way of using it, but we could have four different oscillator inputs here or four different modulation sources, so it can get very interesting and experimental. And that's what we're going to check out for the rest of the video.
So in this patch, I'm using three different oscillators and four different sound sources because I'm using the sub oscillator and the main oscillator from the MCO. Platt's in chord mode and the Castor and Pollux doing a kind of sequence thing. And then I'm using a sample and hold from PAMS to modulate randomly through the four different uh, sounds. But let's take the modulation out and listen to the individual oscillators. So this is the MCO being sequenced by the Oct Tone. And if we move into input two, we get the second sound, which is the, the main oscillator out. Next, let's go into Platts. And finally, into the Castor and Pollux. Sounds quite nice with uh, with plats that one. Yeah, quite different um, things happening on each oscillator. And when we uh, throw the sample and hold in, <laughs> we get this really groovy rhythm happening. I do have it going through the MFX with a stereo delay and then I was bringing in some bit reduction on the effects aid. But yeah, you can make these really complex sequences that would be incredibly difficult to, to program quite effortlessly. This didn't take uh, long at all to put together.
this patch I'm using four different modulation sources to modulate my filter and what I really like about this is how dynamic and performative it is um, I have a sub oscillator coming from the variable waveform generator and um, chord mode and plats. This is like my main riff and input one is the envelope triggered by the sequence from maths going into input two. Which is a really nice verse I think. Then input three, bit more subdued. <laughs> and what I really like about this one is that I've got a very fast LFO in number four here, input four, and it's really nice to modulate between those two. A really dynamic kind of sequence going on. And um, yeah, the final thing I wanted to show here was that the filter here, which is the Atlas from Vostok, also has a scanner. So we can scan through the four different filters. And you can get some very interesting um, sonic results doing this. I thought I'd finish with a nice ambient one. 
let's have a listen to the individual channels here. And to input 4 I have the Poly Cinematic from Nobula. Nice kind of cheesy 80s sound. And to input 3 I have Platts. And it's been modulated by channel 1 of Maths. Input 2 is the MCO and I have a kind of noise source sort of blended with a sine wave and then input 1 is a sub oscillator and I'm using channel 4 of maths to modulate these Because none of these are actually synced or clocked together, every time maths modulates through the, the waveforms, we're getting something totally different. And it can definitely be worth experimenting with your modulator. Let's try going into the audio range. This really is a lot of fun and <laughs> the more the more time you put in the more you realize you can use it to create some very unusual textures but yeah i hope you've enjoyed my exploration of trace if you have please leave a like and a comment and i'll catch you all again soon